Hello. Today we are talking about the issue of uniform cleaning in relation to COVID-19 and the current situation. Our guest is Dr. Katie Laird, reader in microbiology, associate professor of research and head of the infectious disease research group at De Montfort University. And thank you to Medipal for providing the educational grant that made this video possible. Welcome, Dr. Laird. As someone who has analysed it all, can you give us a run through of the key bits of the official guidance for nurses and nursing staff on protecting themselves and patients from coronavirus? Yes, of course. Um, the guidelines at the moment that were, were altered by Public Health England um, in light of the coronavirus outbreak says that where possible, nurses should be using industrial launderers. Um, and if that isn't possible, that they should be taking their uniforms home in a disposable plastic bag. Um, now, the workwear guidelines, the uniform workwear guidelines that were published by the NHS on the 2nd of April, uh, 2020 are stating that it's okay to wash your uniforms at 60 for um, 10 minutes. Great, thank you very much. What are your top three tips for nurses working on the front line against COVID-19, both in health and social care settings? And similarly, for those not on the front line, but who may be exposed to risk? If they can, get their uniforms to industrial launderers so they're not having to handle it and taking it home into the home environment. Um, you want to follow public health guidelines on taking the clothing off before you go home and putting it into a sealed bag, a disposable bag that then can be got rid of immediately afterwards. Um, as I said, open the bag within the washing machine, don't open it and then potentially allow the virus to become airborne or come into contact with other items or surfaces within the home um, and disinfect the surface of the washing machine because if you've touched the textile then you close the door, you put your detergent in, all those surfaces could also potentially become contaminated so disinfect the areas that you believe you've touched in the process of putting your um, uniform into the wash and then wash your hands immediately afterwards. The other thing we need to consider is the temperature and the detergent we're using. So what I would recommend is a minimum of 60 but wash it at the hottest temperature you can that the clothing allows and definitely use detergent because once we've completed our research I actually think we will see that the detergent like the soap on the hands will be the key element to the wash. Um, if the nurses are having to take them home I would recommend that they open the bag within the machine with their uniforms in so they're not open it and potentially contaminating anything else before, um, that they thoroughly wash their hands and the surfaces of the door handle etc they disinfect those of the of the washing machine because at the moment there's such limited research on how the survival of coronavirus on the textile and is that absorbed into the textile is it on the surface um, and how we how we remove that great thank you very much we've come to the end of today's talk Thank you once again to Dr Laird for her time and expertise and to Medipal for their educational grant. <laughs>